hey guys so in this lecture we will understand what are exceptions in c sharp and how to handle them now exceptions in c sharp are related to your mistakes uh, every programmer does some mistakes in programming so if you have uh, done a mistake in your program and your, uh, your compiler has not identified it for you so that mistake will make your program stop abruptly at the program execution so imagine if there is no exception handling in c sharp so it, it will be very difficult for programmers to or it will be nearly impossible for programmers to program anything and deploy it on production or say suppose uh, some other environment in this lecture i will make you explain how to handle exceptions uh, via a very simple application so let's move to our slides first so exceptions are runtime errors that is they arise during program execution and compile time errors are easier to detect and rectify since compiler does it for us so you might have seen that if we do some typing mistake or say some compile time error is there in our program so there is a red squiggly in our program to display that error for you so that is called compile time error but runtime errors are the errors which cannot be detected by compiler and then they make a, our program to stop at once so if your program stops suddenly due to any wrong logic or overflow of data then this could be handled via exception handling so let's quickly jump into visual studio and let's try to create a exception to stop our program abruptly and then let's see that how we can apply exception handling in c sharp so let's jump into visual studio so i have a pre-typed code code with me so let me paste that code here so all this code does is uh, i declare an array first the size of that array is three so it can hold only three items and i am storing four items in array okay so you can see that uh, my compiler is not stopping me to do so right though the size of the array is three i can store any number of items in the array and remember arrays are fixed size so we cannot store more elements than its size let's try to run our program and see what happens so let's run it you can see there is indexed out of range exception and it was unhandled so my program has stopped un unexpectedly and I do not know how to rectify this. Okay. And my compiler also didn't warn, warn me that I am creating a mistake here. So let's move back to our slides. So the exception which was thrown to us was thrown with the help of system.exception class. So it's mentioned in here. So we can handle those exceptions via try catch blocks in C sharp. So let's move back. And let's have our try catch block to stop this exception. So let me have this try catch block. Let me have this code in here. Let me cut this. And so I know there could be exception in my code. So I have put that code inside a try block. So each and every vulnerable code that uh, that that can can or cannot throw exception should be always enclosed inside a try block. Now, if there is an exception, this block, catch block, will catch the, that exception. So, this is the try and catch block. And let me have one console.read to stop the console. Console.read. And I will explain you this throw keyword later. So, let's comment it out first. And then let me give a custom message to ourself that an exception has occurred so an exception is there okay so let me call this exception as e and let me display the e dot message so whatever is the message that's present that will be displayed in here also i should have a space inside it okay and now let's try to run our program so let's run it you can see an exception is there index was outside the bounds of the array so i have successfully caught my exception and my program also runs so whatever is the exception that's present in my program that 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 could be caught by this exception class but this exception class will be catching the generalized exception so whatever the exception say it is index out of range say it is buff out of buffer or out of memory that will be caught if you specify the 
general exception class you can also specify specific exceptions okay so i can always have another catch block so let me copy this catch block and paste it here okay so let me name this exception as ex and let me catch a specific exception in here so let me catch index out of range exception e okay let me have this ex in here ex dot message let's try to run this again and see you can see an exception is there index was outside the bounds of an array so let me change the code block in here so you can see which catch blocks has executed i am specific exception let's try to run this you can see i am specific exception index was outside the bounds of the array so you can have two catch blocks in with a try block but only one catch block will be executed so in our case this catch block is uh, catch block is executing this catch block is not executing okay and also this is a very important interview question that if you uh, can a try block can have multiple catch or not so the answer is yes you can have, you can have multiple catch with a try block but only one catch block will be executed at a time okay or also when i was a fresher i was attending an interview so this was the question that was asked to me that if if you have a try block and you catch a general exception okay and then after that catch block you try to catch a specific exception so can you have like this so you cannot have like this because it says the exception that is thrown when an attempt is made to access an element of an array with an index that is outside its bound a previous catch clause already catches all exceptions for this okay so you cannot have general catch block and then specific catch block you can only have a specific catch block and then a general catch block okay so let's move back to our slides so we have seen exception handling takes place via try catch blocks in c sharp so if we put our code in a try block and a exception occurs instead of abrupt halt of application system stops the program execution and looks for a appropriate catch blocks and thus exception is caught and this we have seen already now with try catch construct there is a another keyword which is called as finally so let's see what is a finally keyword so with this try catch there is a another finally construct okay so it's the same construct it's written just like try catch block but it's always executed so what's the speciality of this finally keyword is finally block is that it is always executed so let me pass a message i am always there okay so whether the exception will occur or not finally will always be executed so let me try to run this first i am a specific exception index was outside the bounds of the array i am always there so this is the message thrown with uh, from the finally block so i have caught my exception and yet finally has throw uh, executed okay now let's try to remove this thing here so my array is now inside the bound okay so there will be no exception and this catch blocks are there for catching any type of exception but my, i have rectified my program in here so let's try to run this and you can see 25 26 27 i am always there so th this is dis this has displayed me the elements of my array and then finally block has been executed so finally block will be always be executed and it's useful in the sense suppose you are working with some database class or some other classes and you need to close those database classes or you need to dispose some resources so you just write each and everything inside this finally block so if you if you forget to close those uh, things explicitly this finally block will take care of those things so remember it's a very good coding practice to each uh, to put each and everything of your code inside a try block and try to catch a exception for it okay and then handle all those the all those open things into a finally block so let's move back to our slides 
and let's look into the last point we use throw keyword for creating and throwing custom exceptions so at first you might be thinking that why do we need throw keyword if there is a ex already uh, there is a exception so throw is useful for creating your own exceptions and showing it to the user so let me try to create a own custom exception and throw it for you so let's create an exception so here i have pasted a code so exception ex is equals new exception it's just created as a normal object and then i have passing a string this is a custom exception and then i am throwing this exception okay so what this will do this will this exception will be caught in by this block okay because it's uh, it's catching generalized exceptions so let's try to run this and you can see my array is uh, array is displayed though there is no out of range exception there an exception is there and this is custom exception this is coming because i have written this string in here and then ex dot message is displaying this is a custom exception i hope you understood this let's move back to our slides so always remember mistakes do happen in your programming code so it's always very wise to have your all of your code inside a try block and then you catch your exceptions okay so here are the slides for you to note it down and thank you so much guys for listening if you have any doubt please leave a comment below and please do subscribe to my channel thank you so very much